I'm going to assume you've seen the news of a novel coronavirus outbreak in a mega city in China. When I saw in my news feed that some biotech stocks were soaring with the news of the outbreak, I got curious. This video is about one of those companies. Nanovirusides Incorporated. Since the early 1990s, Dr. Anil Dewan and his team have been pioneering in the field of nanomedicines. He founded All Excel Incorporated, which developed a technology platform that they say is yet unmatched, Theracore. And in 2004, Theracore Pharma Incorporated was formed to commercialize the patented as well as several additional patentable and patent pending nanomedicine technologies developed at All Excel. In 2005, Theracore Pharma licensed its technologies to Nanovirusides Incorporated for the development of a number of antiviral drugs. Their shingles virus technology is said to be moving toward human clinical trials. Nanovirusides are designed to appear to the virus like the native host cell surface to which it binds. They make their nanomachines appear to viruses as cells waiting to be infected. At All Excel, they're said to have been working for years to develop factory manufacturable cell replacement regenerative therapies, so it seems they've had practice with cell like creations. And these little nanomachines have drugs in their core, waiting for a virus to mistake it for a cell it's after and lock on. As described in a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission years back, the self-assembling nanoviruside Trojan horses would be expected to course through the bloodstream, seek their target, for example, a specific virus particle, and attach and fuse itself to the virus. It's supposed to then encapsulate it and deploy into the virus the active pharmaceutical ingredients stowed in its belly. Since the binding sites for a given virus do not change despite mutations and other changes in the virus, they believe their drugs will be broad spectrum, that their discovery could be compared to the discovery of penicillin. They are developing this cell mimicking technology to deal with more than just viruses. It's more than coronaviruses, herpes, the flu, dengue, HIV, Ebola. This Theracore technology is being tailored to quote unquote cure cancer, diabetes, liver diseases, cardiac muscles, neurodegeneration, Parkinson's disease, and who knows what else. Did I mention they've been working on this for nearly 30 years and they're said to be starting human trials? I'm not saying it'll do what they say it will, but this is the direction the medical industry is going, so it's something to pay attention to, if you ask me. They say Theracore enables tailoring for optimal drug delivery by any route, be it injectable, transdermal, topical ocular, or even oral. Makes me think back to that Frontiers in Neuroscience study I talked about with my friend Jeff C. Those were neural nanorobots that could be injected and taken intranasally in aerosolized form, orally as a pill, via a dermal patch, or a topical gel. I just have to wonder about it all if releasing nanomachines into our body is a good idea. In the case of nanovirusides, it sounds to me like an immune system replacement. I wonder how that would work out. Maybe I have trust issues, but to me, the idea of unleashing nanomachines loaded with some kind of payload into my body sounds a bit risky and extreme. I'd really like to hear your thoughts about this. Would you step right up for the nanobots in your blood experiment? I try not to let the fears being pushed by the media get to me, especially since they don't always live up to the hype. Not that it should just be ignored, because you never know. I think that we need to learn how to fix ourselves with the natural world around us while it's still there. There's a link to the source material for this video in the show notes. Please consider sharing this video or uploading it wherever you're able. Thank you for listening.